XRP. We start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video when the price was within this down move, we mentioned if we want to look for trade for buy, we need to get the reversal. And if we get the reversal and if with the flag or correction, we can look for trade. As we can see, the price sharply reversed, but there was no trade setup to look for buy. And this drop was because of the news, the Bitcoin drop, the rest of the crypto it follow. And now we want to see what's the next. And before, before, beside that, we mentioned if we want to look for buy, we have been looking for this in relative to this correction. That's why I mentioned as long as the price haven't broke 1.35, any reversal we will take the trade. As we can see, price almost take 1.35 and reverse. No, we want to see whether this one can turn to a correction for one more drop. If we get any correction, the next drop can break 1.35 uh, or we can get the reversal from here. Anyway, as what we expected, the price drop and reverse sharply. And now we want to see what's the next. In this case, we start with the higher time frame. We start with daily chart. And based on daily chart, still we are within this correction. And the only question is whether this one can give us one more drop and the price can retest 1.2 before we get the reversal or not okay that's why if you want to look for trade we need to be quite careful in this case we move to forward chart and based on forward chart right now we're looking at this we want to see how deep this one can go whether at the first we're looking for the 1.35 the price tag and reverse now we want to see whether we get the correction if we get the correction the next draw we can expect the price to retest 1.2 Okay, besides that, we want to see how we can look at the chart. Can we put this two in relative to each other as a flat? It's not a really good idea because this one is the first, two, I mean, this part of the first move. Because the first move we get internally, we get the flat. That means this one we can consider as if this is the correction, what we get. That's why we, this is the part of this big correction. This is the correction in relative to this move. And this is a part of the correction. We cannot relate. I mean, put in relative to the first move. That's why if we get any correction here, the next down move may the price can retest 1.2. That's why if you want to look for buy, we are we need to be really careful. But for me, if I get any reversal from here, I will look for buy. But based on forward chart, we don't have any trades at all. And we move to one hour chart. And even based on one hour chart, we don't have any real trade setup to look for. If this one turned to a correction, mostly we can get one more drop. All right, now we want to see how we can look for trade, even if maybe get a, a small correction here. If we get a correction for down move from here, as I draw, it cannot give us really good trade setup unless this one turned to a bigger and deeper correction. Then from there, top, we can look for sell. Anyway, can we look for buy? We don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell. The only times if we want to look for buy, if we see the reversal flag, we take the we can look for buy because we mentioned still we can put this one in relative to this. That's why we get the die reversal, but there was no correction trade setup. And again, because of the news, this is what we get. May the price can consolidate here for a longer time before we get the reversal. Even the price retest the previous low. That's why if you want to look for buy. We need to get the trade set up. We cannot simply jump in. And since this down move is really sharp, may we get again, we get the bigger consolidation here for one more drop. May the next drop is not that sharp, even just a retest and reverse, okay? And how we can look for trade? As I mentioned, we don't have any trade set up. The best is we wait to see what we get here. And the typical way to look for trade, any reversal flag, we can take the trade. And having entry above this can be an option, but we need to bear in mind that Having entry above this made the price tag, we get the flat or more com bigger correction for one more drop. Okay, this is what we explained. That's why if anyone wants to have entry above this, they really need to watch out. And what we want, we want the price break and continue the price tag. We see it's not moving within the first hour, we take out the trade. The best thing is we wait for the trade setup as a reversal. And that that's mean having entry above this is not a really good idea but can be an option for those traders. They can take the risk and they know how to manage it. And for me, I think let the price drop some more, retest the previous low, and then from there we look for reversal. Because at, when the price retest the low, we can confirm at least me, we don't get the correction for down move. Me at that time, we can look for flat, but even if we want to look for flat, we can get a better opportunity to look for buy. Okay, in this case, we just wait another few hours, we see what we get here, then from there we can make a decision. Again, still we are more interested to look for buy if we get the reversal. The only thing is we have to get the correction, trade setup before we take the trade. 
in this case we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks